And we back. Today we're adding one random NBA starter to an expansion team until they win a championship. So the first thing we gotta do is have the expansion team exist. And listen, Seattle, you deserve a team. Last time I did an expansion video, I gave the team to Seattle. So now we're gonna go to Vegas because Vegas just wants to get into all of the sports now that they might be taking the o Oakland Athletics. Um, still gonna be weird to say Las Vegas Athletics. Oh, are they gonna rebrand the team completely? I'm just gonna go with the first uh, Las Vegas team I see, and that is the Vipers. Is it on brand? I've been to Vegas a bunch. I don't know if I've ever seen a snake. I'm sure they exist, but I'm just, I ain't seen it, which, which is probably good, because I don't know what I would do. Oh, not only do they have snakes, some of them are venomous. So that's a fun thing to remember next time I go to Summer League. All snakes are venomous if you got the, the mind right. You know what I'm saying? That That's just me, my way of saying, don't be out there messing around with snakes, because you can't tell unless you read this article. Anyway, the Viper's gonna be our team. So not only is this an expansion team, we had it on max protection. So once we get to the expansion draft um, and the end of the season, it ain't like we're going to have a lot of great players to start off with. I know I never rig anything here on this video, on this channel. Um, the Bulls are in the championship and they're going against the Lakers and they won a championship. I'm just saying, uh, if, if 2K is any indication of what things can be like, the Bulls might be raising banner number seven soon. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we have to go to league meetings and approve this increase up to the added teams. We got one. Sure, salary cap could be at 50 more, 15 more million dollars if you want to. That don't bother me at all. And now I control the Viper too. Let's go. All right. Actually, I don't need to control nobody but the Viper. Now the Viper is our team. The lottery is here and the Viper get the fifth overall pick. Oh, the Jazz got back to back first and second. That's insane. Now, this is an auto-generated rookie class, so I, it ain't going to be Scoot and Victor Wibanyama, but that's actually insane because the, that means in this universe, the Minnesota Timberwolves didn't make the playoffs, so that's how that pick is so valuable. Let's see who's protected in this year's draft. Actually, forget that. We're going straight to the draft. Who's the best player available? Oh, my God. You know what? That's not even crazy. I don't. This is not crazy. Considering this man still has $80 million plus maybe an additional $40 plus million plus guaranteed to him. Guess what? We're drafting him. We're drafting Rudy Gobert. Should I just take the best players available? Yeah. Uh, Luke Kennard is unprotected. We'll take that. Robert Covington and, and Isaiah Stewart. Sure. Um, can we get a point guard? We need a point guard. Who's the best point guard? It's not a lot of them. So, Miles McBride, welcome to the team. Next, we got uh, Forkan Korkmaz, or we could go to the Martin brother or Joe Joe Harris. I'll take Joe Harris' big old contract. Now, I don't control this team as far as um, free agency goes, or I guess even trades. Um, I'm just here to spin a wheel, and do we care about the rest of these picks? Simulate the rest of the draft. All right, we also got Jeremiah Robinson Earl, so he's our young piece, and we got Ryan Rollins, who I don't know much about. Um, but he's a real person. I know that I know that to be the case. I know he is a real person. So this first season, we not adding nobody. This is the buffer year. We'll see exactly, we'll see exactly how many wins this team gets as Rudy Gobert as the bona fide best player. Unless they spent some money in free agency, which I guess is a possibility. We have the most approved player, and his name is Peyton Pritchard. The jer the jersey's kind of awful, but I that's cool. That's all right. Peyton Pritchard did his thing. He shot 37% from the field. Who cares? We ended up winning a total of 21 games in that first season, so we should have some really high odds, but it's time to finally add a player. I like this a lot more than wheels where I pick a random number like the number 13, completely random. We're going to trade for somebody on the Minnesota Timberwolves. The way it's going to work, we're going to put one through five, the point guard is one, and the five is the center. I think you understand that. We're trading for the starting small four, whoever it is, of the Minnesota Timberwolves. This season, that player was Jaden McDaniels. We'll take him. Jaden McDaniels is a stud. That, that's an easy trade. It don't... Move the needle too much, but give us some time. The Warriors just won another championship, by the way. Um, but give us some time. Also, the draft lottery is coming up. Did we get the first overall pick? The answer is absolutely not. We went all the way down to five. So uh, that's that's not ideal. Uh oh, the boys spent some money. They spent some money. Oh, Johnny Nobi's on the team. We didn't have to do nothing. Um, so I gotta tell you, Minnesota Timberwolves fans, you're you're getting the worst player on my team, so we can get Jaden McDaniels on the roster. Boom. So now our starting lineup low key got some defense. Oh, Johnny Nobi and Jaden McDaniel. I'm putting Jaden McDaniels at the three. Um, wait, who is it? Oh, this Terry Taylor. Absolutely not. Absolutely not, Terry Taylor. No disrespect. We're doing this. We even got Kmart Jr. off the bench. The team is kind of okay for this to be the first year. This is the guy that they drafted fifth overall last season. He was actually pretty good for his rookie season. Now he's up to a 79. And then this is the dude that they drafted this year, Bill White, power forward from Wichita State. We'll see. We won 21 games last year. Let's see how many games the addition of OG Ananobi and Jaden McDaniels can add. 32 wins for the Viper, man. We got to pick it up or the team might move to another spot. 
because that's kind of the thing in NBA history. You get an expansion team, and if they aren't good very fast, then you might have to move to another place. So uh, the Viper need to figure it out, and I think the way you figure it out is by getting a new player. We got the Minnesota Timberwolves out of the way. We're going to number 25, which is the Orlando Magic. I'm going to assume that Paolo Bencaro is still on the roster. We got five, which might be Wendell Carter. I don't know. I, again, we're a few years in, so things have changed. And hopefully it's somebody a little bit better than Wendell Carter. The starting center is Wendell Carter. That's that's fine. That's 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 cool because we're about to get the first overall pick this year. And we don't even care about anything else other than getting the first overall pick. And we got number eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, 32 wins is not, not enough for us to be really in a running unless we really jump up. Okay, so Wendell Carter is going to be on the team next season. Rudy Gobert was our first draft pick in the expansion. And he's regressing. So, Window Carter is going to be a higher overall. So, Rudy Gobert and all of that money will be coming off the bench. Uh, we lost our most improved player from a few seasons ago. So, the new lineup is this. Kenya Martin Jr. is the... Actually, I mean, again, it's not championship worthy, right? But it's a deep team. We got a lot of 80 overalls in this roster. But the point guard position is probably the, our biggest weakness. We need to spin it and get a star. And we might be here for six years. Six, six real years, not simulated years. They won 25 games. They suck. Next team we got is the 10th OKC Thunder. That's great because OKC is a really good team in the simulation right now. And we're getting their three, which is not Shea Gilgis Alexander, which is what we kind of wanted more than anything. But what, whatever. Uh, let's see who that three is. It's Lou Dort. I mean, we could have got any other position and we walk out and feel very great. Shout out to Lou Dort, but he ain't Shea, Giddy, Chet, or even Jay Will. Oh, man. All right. Well, I knew this was going to take some time. Here we are going into the next season. We need to win. We need to win the lottery, I guess. That's like the saving grace. And we got the three, three third overall pick, which is cool. We'll take that. We'll take that. And Lou Dort is coming to the roster, of course. And we didn't have a point guard. Now we do the third overall pick. Tracy Simon ends up winning rookie of the year. Good shooter splits. Maybe want to pass the ball a little bit more, but he's only a 20-year-old rookie, man. Um, the team wasn't wasn't good. You, you could have probably expected that. Oh my God, we're in the playoffs. Oh my, we are a 40 and 42 team, which is good enough to, oh, we, we signed Dyson Daniels. Oh, John and Obi's like a super six man. They could start again, OG, like this. Am I making adjustments? Absolutely, I am. Wendell Carter is gone. They, they had to trade away. They traded away Lou Dort and Kenyon Martin Jr. to get this Curtis Mills character. I don't know anything about him, but he's our starting center right now. We also got a million centers on the roster, but he's 27 years old at three-level scoring. Dang, A-plus three-pointer from the 7-2 guy? What are you averaging this season? 13? Okay, came from the Spurs. From, okay. Anyway, um, sub-500, not a play-in team, but like actually in the playoffs. I'm not about to waste no time. I know that we ain't good enough to win, so there we go with our loss. All right, let's go spin again. All right, so we went from uh, Minnesota to Orlando to OKC. Now we're going to the New Orleans Pelicans. Okay, Zion is probably still on the roster. Again, we like four years in, but there's a possibility Zion is still there. And this is, is this spelled correctly? This doesn't look right. Maybe it is. I don't know. Give me the number four. We got the number one. Uh, I, don't, I don't know who the starting point guard of the Pelicans would be. They're not even a playoff team. So apparently their starting point guard hasn't, been been good enough to help them do the thing and it is Kira Lewis Jr. All right well we have not got a single person yet that is a star level player no all-stars which is part of the challenge it might take a hundred years I'm not saying Kira Lewis Jr. is the reason but we were uh, two games under 500 last year we like a real real playoff team and the team is not good oh my hey listen I swear to you I had no idea now he's 34 uh, I I had no idea um, okay, so that makes sense, kind of. He's only at 88, though. He's only at 88. This is post-prime post AD. Oh, my God, that's insane. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Don't ask me why Luka Doncic is in Atlanta. Is Trey Young still there? That's the question. Trey Young is on the board. Okay. All right, anyway. Um, yo, uh, we got the sixth man of the year. Do we have coaches? Okay, some team won 70 games. That's not us. Anthony Davis made an All-NBA team, though. Some team won 70 games as the Utah Jazz. We were at the two seed, but I'm not going to spend any uh, too much time on any series until they show me that we really are contender. I don't think we're contender. If we win this championship this season, this is the weirdest video we've... Okay, there we go. Great. I don't want to win just yet. I want to get a start because we ain't got close to one. Joffrey Saunders. Jeffrey Joffrey Saunders is a stud at the Jazz draft. They were one of those two first overall picks. For, you know what I mean? They Oh, not only that, they have Giannis on the team. They got Giannis on the team, too. So that makes sense. 
They get what is this roster? Giannis, Joffrey Saunders, who I'm guessing was the first overall pick. Okay, six seven uh, shooting guard out of UCLA. And then they got Walker Kessler at the five. They still got Colin Sexton and Larry Market, and they even got Ben Simmons, who was contributing one way or another. I can't believe it. But this is where we get our star. I'm feeling the number one. Lucky number one, Chicago Bulls. Now, you didn't just see that Trey Young is on the Bulls now. A lot of things have changed. Trey Young, let's spin for one. You see, it's on one already. That's how I got Kira Lewis Jr. I will hit my button, and it went to four. I was hoping to stay that one. All right. The Chicago Bulls starting power forward this season was... <laughs> Can I get a, I'm getting a reroll. I'm sorry. I'm getting a reroll. I'm done. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. That that doesn't improve our roster. All right. 19. Lucky number 19. New York Knicks. And we're getting the third, or I'm sorry, the small four from the New York Knicks. Please not. Please just don't be bad. Please be somebody. Small four. <laughs> Donald Henry. I don't know. Former 18th overall pick. He's an average of 12 points per game in his career. This video is supposed to be about getting really good players to team up. We haven't been able to do that. We the, the good players we got was through free agency out of all things. Tracy was the most improved player now. Oh, because he was the starter, one rookie of the year, then lost his starting spot to Kira Lewis Jr. And I don't think he started again this year. Maybe I'm wrong. Um no, okay, no, he started with great majority of the season. So he, he's back and he won most improved player, and the team ended up winning a total of 59 games, two games away from the one seed OKC Thunder. Again, I don't think we got it just yet. But maybe we do, and we don't. Good again, good. I want to get a star. And Anthony Davis is injured, and he's old, and kind of, kind of not as great as he used to be. I want to spend for a star. That's what this video is supposed to be about, man. Forget all of this getting random role players that don't matter. Oh, the Knicks, we took their guy, and they went on to win the championship. He's probably pissed because we we got him for nothing. I traded my worst player for him. All right, let's see what the next team is. It's going to be the 15th team, which is the Golden State Warriors. The Warriors aren't very good, but getting Franz Wagner would help. Getting Nick Claxton or even Jordan Poole at this point will help. So let's see what number we get. We get the number five, which gives us Claxton. All right. It's not like we already got Anthony Davis on the team or nothing. But hey, upgrades and upgrade. You know what I'm saying? We'll take it. New team looks like this. Dyson, I mean, a lot. again, a lot of 80s. Anthony Davis now down to an 82, so he's not as good as he used to be. A lot of power four minutes and center minutes. No, literally, I think I saw zero small four minutes. Is that right? Uh, zero small four minutes where Dyson Daniels is our guy. But Dyson Daniels has been our guy for a few years now. He's been doing great stuff. Um, the Nicholas Claxton edition. Is it enough to win a championship? Six seed this season. Lost in the first round. You kind of expected that because Nicholas Claxton is not that much of a needle mover. We actually fell back because we were, what, the two seed the last couple years. So I'm going to try something differently. I'm going to get the position first, which is the small four, and then I'm going to get the team. And the team is going to be the small forward for the Miami Heat. All right, let's see if he coaches still a thing. I know Jimmy Butler not around no more because it's been it's been a long time. He culture is getting me Warren, Warren Roy. Woohoo! Another an, another not so great player. Should we start doing these in twos? Warren Roy and from the Dallas Mavericks, the power four. The power four for the Dallas Mavericks is Carl Anthony Towns. I, 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 I'm gonna, t I'm gonna take my dub. I'm gonna take my dub and 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 say what you want in the comment section. I know that Carl Anthony Towns is gonna help us. How much? I don't know. Does he turn into a championship team? I don't know. We got a lot of bigs on this thing, but Carl Anthony Towns is really good. Barry Smith Jr. versus Luka Doncic in the finals, and Luka, Luka the Don been doing this. Thing. He's 32. That's how long we've been simulating. This is year 2030, I think. Uh, we were the four seed, got eliminating seven. Wasn't really that great of a series. But this is the moment right here. This, I'm going to speak it into an existence. It is going to be the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks made the playoffs. I don't know who on the team, but at least they made the playoffs. So we know they got somebody nice. It's not one of the tanking teams. Lastly, we got Cat. This time around, we get the point guard. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to flip over. I'm going to flip over to the Milwaukee Bucks. And, and, and you ready to win this challenge? Are you ready to win this challenge? Because Cade Cunningham... Is the starting point guard for the Milwaukee Bucks. You're like, Kenny, that ain't that big of a deal. He only a 96. 96 is the best player in the world right now. What is he averaging? Uh, about 28 and 10 in the regular season. 50, 40, almost 90. Yeah, what is, who is our point guard? I don't even know. Is it still Kira Lewis Jr.? Nope, it is a dude named Bruce Morgan and then George McKenzie. Carl Anthony Towns is 35, so yeah, he's going to be regressing. Dyson Daniels and him and the role players are bad. But this is the first time we... Spin the wheel, or it's not even a wheel. This is the first time we've picked up an all-star player other than Cat, obviously. Take a big step forward, and then two steps back. Carl Towns, we lost him in free agency. Now, he is 35, so you can probably argue that he's not very good anymore, but he was still a quality enough player to be really good on our... He's still an... Oh, my... He's on the box! 
We took they best player. They took ours. That's how it works. He's a free agent, though. Um, he only averaged 20. But our team don't look like it's a championship caliber team other than our guard positions being really good. Everything else is mid. We got the league MVP. Now, that might tell you something. That might tell you Oh, now Luka's a six man, by the way. He's a 94. He's a 94 and he's a six man. Okay, so we got to look out for the Houston Rockets, apparently, because they, they so good. They're the two seed. They're so good that Luka Doncic is now a super six man. Oh, we also have Dyson Daniels injured for the next six to eight weeks. So I thought this could be a year we win. We got this super squad over here where... The man Lucas coming off the bench for Lonzo. Uh, yeah, we're not beating that team in a series, bro. I'm sorry. We might get to the conference finals to see them, but we're not winning. JK, we're not even seeing them in the, in the conference finals. We lost in the first round. One seed. But look, it's about building blocks. The next team we're getting is a 17 team Cleveland Cavaliers. From a point guard to a power forward, the things have changed, right? Lucas now on the Rockets. Trey Young was in Chicago. I don't know if Evan Mobley's still here, but if he is, then we're in good shape, buddy. The first eight spins gave us role players. The last three gave us really good players. Evan Mobley is coming to the team after his current... Oh, the team, they were a playing team and lost in the first round. Um, I just saw Sadiq Bey win a conference finals player of the year, by the way. And he lost to this stud who can't do anything but win. But Evan Mobley's coming to the team now, and I think that could be the determinant fact of all of this. I don't know what the rest of the roster going to look like in a second. But if Evan Mobley and Kay Cunningham are two guys, and both of those dudes are 90-plus overalls, and 90-plus overalls are hard to come back today, I feel good. Back-to-back -back MVPs for Kay, and now that he's got a little bit of help, is this the year? I don't even know how many wins we ended up with. We got the first team and second team. Um, do you want to see the rest of the roster? Because I don't even know what the rest of the roster looks like. It is Dyson Daniels. Who, like, can we get a round of applause for Dyson Daniels? The man has been here since 2027, and we are in the year 2033, 34, 33. 33. So he's been hooping his butt off all of these years, just waiting for the opportunity. He's been sticking around. Jalen Duran is our center. We got Kemp on the team, McMillan, and some a lot of auto-generated dudes. Killian Hayes is here at 31, so that's cool. We don't have any any major injuries. We got some minor ones, but no major injuries. We ended up being the two seed. Okay, that Houston Rockets team is crazy. Is this the year? We got two all NBA players. The first round. We barely get out of that joint. But a win is a win, nonetheless. Second round versus the Sacramento Kings. That's a sweep, man. They, they did all of their damage in the first round, beating up on their three seed, getting all the way to seven. They were they were gassed. And here we go to go against this team, this juggernaut that has uh, six man of the year, Luka Doncic, and Jabari Smith Jr. still on the roster, and Joffrey Saunders on the roster, who even though Kay Cunningham is the highest overall player, or he was, I don't know if he still is. He is. Joffrey's right there. It, you know what I'm saying? He's not too far behind. Um... So, so so let's see. We got two of the top five players in the league. I didn't even realize that when we made that trade. 2 0 us. 3 0 us. We are four games away from doing the thing. Zion versus Kay Cunningham in the NBA Finals. It is Zion. Oh, he's been carrying. <laughs> we just are objectively the better team. They got here from the fourth seed, and it took them two game sevens to get here. We win game one by seven. 40 piece for Kay Cunningham. Game two, we win. K Cunningham again showcasing why he's the MVP. Game three, okay. They, oh, that was a Tyler Hero game. We just suck. We suck that game. It's cool. It's cool. It's good. Oh, nope, nope. Here comes Zion and company because it's not just him. He's only, he only put up 20. Our guys, like Evan Mobley, needs to step up. He's averaging 21 in the playoffs, so I can't be too mad. But come on, so 2-2 two, two series, and it's 3 to us. One game away, K Cunningham and Emo go crazy. They force a game seven. Oh, boy. Um, can I just do a little bit of coaching and shorten that rotation quite a bit? Our coach sucks, by the way. Game seven. Oh, we spin it again. Do we get the win? Um, oh, man, we might not get this win. It's too close. It's too co close for comfort. We might be going for at least another season or so. And we are going to win that championship. What a third and fourth quarter from the good guys, man. That fourth, no, fourth quarter, we won by 22. That's it. That's wraps. K. Cunningham did it. So how many years did it take of us adding... Uh, one random NBA player to an expansion team. Ten years. It took us ten seasons. Shout out to Kay Cunningham and Evan Mobley.